we are here to talk to you about Lang Lang. Um, I know some people pronounce that one Ylang Ylang, but I'm pretty sure the Y is silent on both of those. So this one is a flower. It is also ingestible. Um, this one is really good for um, like calming and for skin. It's also good for high blood pressure. So a lot of people I've heard say like on your ring finger, just put it around your ring finger because that finger actually like goes directly to your heart. So if you're using it for blood pressure, um, you, um, do it that way. Um, you can also put it directly over your heart. Um, so it can help with um, high blood pressure. It can help with being like a conditioner, add it to your shampoo or um, just to condition your hair. You can put it in a spray bottle with some water and kind of help condition your hair, especially after you've been in the sun and the sun like dries your hair out and things like that. So it's really good for that. It's good at relaxing. Um, it's good for stress, um, for reducing tension and things like that. So um, Ylang Ylang is just a really good one to have around if you're kind of tense or want calming effects. Um, really good for your body and things like that. So um, emotionally, it is the oil of inner child. It helps combat negative emotions of joyless, overstressed, grief, sadness, loss of a loved one, disconnected from your inner child. It gives you positive properties of freedom, playful, intuitive, heart healing, emotionally filled, joyful, and accepting. So if you would like to have any of those positive properties emotionally, Ylang Ylang might be for you. So um, if you have any questions, would like to know how to get this oil or any others, I would be happy to help you or so would the person that shared this video with you. So we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.